good morning dear students welcome to the english class and yesterday <coughs> we have discussed uh, types of letters and also the important parts of the letter so we discussed that there are five parts in the letter the very first part is heading second part is salutation third part is body of the letter and fourth part is subscription and finally last part is superscription so and we discussed that uh, there are three parts in heading heading consists of both sender's address date and receiver's address salutation and finally body of the letter so what is the body of the letter so how many paragraphs uh, would be in body of the letter so main and beginning and uh, beginning of the body of the letter next uh, content of the body of the letter and finally ending so how uh, ending would be in the body of the letter and the count content would be in the body of the letter and finally how we need to start uh, a beginning of the paragraph so these things uh, were discussed yesterday now coming to the formats so i prepared a, pro, a model of a, a, a letter that is in traditional format so traditional format is also called as intended format intended format and intended format is also known as a traditional format so how a traditional format would be in formal letter so now so this is a model of a, a formal letter in traditional format so and this is we know this is the right margin and this one is the right and this one is left margin okay this is the left and this is right and this is bottom and this one is top and now you think it is a letter so firstly in formal letter in traditional letter this formal letter would be started from using heading so this is the first part of your writing a letter heading so here in heading you should write to place of the letter and date of writing the letter so from where you are writing a letter for example you are from kakinada or you are from hyderabad so you are writing a letter from hyderabad there you mentioned hyderabad or there you mentioned the name of the locality and the native place also for example if it is kakinada write to name of the city kakinada okay or uh, if you wanted to write to the locality in which you are living first to write the locality and write the name of the town or village and finally date so yesterday we discussed how a date is written so we should not write a uh, date in such a way yesterday we discussed right and so this is the first part that is nothing but a heading so heading is placed at the top of the right corner this is the top of the right corner heading is placed at the top of the right corner and now coming to the the second important part is that sender's address it is a sender's address we should write a sender's address from here from sender's address okay now and immediately receiver's address after immediately writing the sender's address you write to receiver's address so in formal letter both the sender's address and receiver's address are to be written uh, one by one so this is first sender's address and receiver's address and we should yesterday we discussed how sender's address would be written and how receiver's address is written so all these things point uh, were discussed yesterday now coming to the salutation so salutation is quite common in both formal and informal letter but uh, the way we greet people is different in formal letter and also in formal letter so salutation so immediately after the salutation there you should use a comma so after salutation dear brother for example if you are writing letter to your brother write dear brother or if you are writing to a business uh, man or a business woman you just write to dear sir or dear madam and you need to write uh, when a person is uh, unknown that means you do not know whether the person to whom you are writing is a male or a female then you should mention dear sir or madam dear sir or madam dear sir or dear madam uh, both right so that is how a salutation is written and now coming to the subject and what is the subject here subject is nothing but the matter or the concept uh, you wanted to tell you wanted to narrate or you wanted to convey so the main gist or main concept of the letter is to be written in the form of a subject and now reference and you should not write this reference for all kinds of letters 
reference is only applicable only in the case of job uh, employments or job applications or opportunity applications uh, in response to the any advertisement in the newspaper given therefore at the time you should use reference references are only for job applications so whereas uh, letter of complaints or uh, uh, letter of uh, uh, complaints or letter to the newspaper editors so letter to the college principal or letter to the school principal there you, you need not to write any reference in such letters right and reference is only for job applications in response to the uh, advertisement which is published in the newspaper right and now coming to the the very important point so this is the first point and uh, this is this one and the and these three are called first that is heading and second one is a salutation and okay first we discussed that heading consisted with place uh, okay and day to uh, from sender address to receiver sir these three parts are called heading and second part of the writing letter is salutation and third part is uh, body of the letter and we discussed that uh, there are three paragraphs and body of the letter can be written into the three paragraphs the very first paragraph is beginning of the paragraph in the beginning it, itself you should introduce yourself and introduce uh, the purpose of writing the letter and in the second paragraph that is uh, content you should uh, give details of the matter that you wanted to narrate and finally ending so ending of the paragraph you conclude by what you expect so whatever the thing that you are expecting from the receiver so you just conclude the last paragraph by expecting something so that is how body of the uh, letter is completed but here you should not omit any punctuation marks in writing body of the letter all punctuation marks are absolutely required in writing the body of the letter that is very very important point and finally coming to this side coming to this side subscription subscription is nothing but a leave taking subscription is nothing but a leave taking or a, we can say it as a complimentary note yesterday we discussed that a letter should not be ended abruptly so there you should add something the something is nothing but a subscription okay na? so how a subscription would be in formal letter especially to the business people to the strangers or to the college principal or to the school principal or to the class teacher how a subscription would be and we discussed that subscription writing yesterday and finally your signature so after after subscription here there you should use a small comma and at the end of the signature a signature of the candidate that means signature of the writers would be ended with the krishna so this is how this is the format of traditional and this is a traditional format it is a world format and we use it okay so world format we find place and date of writing at the top of the right corner and whereas all other parts except subscription and in traditional format we find both place and date of it is nothing but station station and date and subscription are to be written at the right corner one is at the top of the right corner and another one is at the bottom of the right corner and this is how the traditional format is now let us talk about blocked format now blocked format we discussed uh, right now about uh, traditional format how a traditional format would be now coming to the blocked format this is second format this blocked format can be written uh, in such a way so in formal letter so how a formal letter is written in the blocked format so here this is a left margin and this one is also a right margin okay this is a left margin and this one is a left margin and bottom and top so here in the blocked format everything is written from the left margin directly everything is written from the left margin directly except to the date so date is written towards the right margin this is the only the difference that you find in block format in blocked format everything is written from the everything is written from the left margin so here see i have written here the sender's address towards the left margin from the left margin and again receiver's address left margin and salutation is also from the left margin subject is also from the left margin 
and body of the letter is also directly started from the left margin so uh, all these points we discussed about the body of the letter are applicable in any format equally there is no change in writing body of the letter so like you're starting with the beginning uh, beginning paragraph or start introductory paragraph second paragraph is content paragraph or a, a third paragraph is ending paragraph so that is how a body of the letter is written in every format whether it is a blocked format or a fully blocked format or even traditional format so there is no change in body of the letter and now coming to the subscription what subscri subscription here leave taking or a close a closing letter so this leave taking here is written from the left margin where whereas in traditional format we wrote subscription uh, towards the right margin at the bottom of the right margin but in blocked format it is written towards the left margin and finally signature see we observe one thing that except the date except the date all the other features all other parts of the letter are written from the left margin directly and another important thing you should uh, keep in this mind is that uh, there you should not use any punctuation marks while you are writing any part of the letter except uh, writing body of the letter so you should not omit uh, punctuation marks in the body of the letter but in blocked format you can omit uh, punctuation marks in sender's address receiver's address date okay subscription signature all these things in all parts except body of the letter punctuation marks are omitted i think you understand this is all about blocked format now let us talk about fully blocked format right now fully blocked format we shall discuss a fully blocked format in formal letter writing see there is a slight difference between blocked format and fully blocked format here in block fully blocked format all the parts of the letter are directly written from the left margin very very important point is that all the parts of the letter are written directly from the left margin but whereas in blocked format except date all the parts are written uh, towards the left margin right so date is written towards the right margin in the blocked format but now in fully blocked format all the parts are written from the left margin here see sender's address then immediately after writing the sender's address date and next after that receiver's address you know for all these three points are called as heading these three points are heading so heading constitute three points three parts that is first one is sender's address date place and finally receiver's address and the second second point is salutation that is a greeting note a greeting note okay so the salutation is also to be written directly from the left margin and then subject is also written from the left margin and now body of the letter so even body of the letter is also started directly from the left margin subscription and signature so all these five points are directly written from the left margin but here even in fully blocked format you can also omit all the punctuation marks except in body of the letter so while you are writing a sender address or a date receiver address salutation subject subscription signature in all these features in all these points you can avoid you can omit using punctuation marks but you should not omit any punctuation marks in the body of the letter so do not omit body or uh, punctuation marks in the body of the letter so these are all about types of letters and these are the format of letters and we discussed the first format is traditional format second one is blocked format and third one is fully blocked format i hope you understand this class now practice so in intermediate second year there are few less uh, there are some uh, letters are given there are questions are some questions are given uh, particular letters are given you please go through all the questions and try to practice uh, writing a letter using all these three formats so thank you all of you thank you very much if you like this video please subscribe our channel rk media thank you very much thank you